Are you a buyer or investor who's come across some properties and found that there's a tenant in place? And you think to yourself, hey, this is great. I've already got a tenant in place. I can already start making money. Well, today we're gonna look at the pros and cons of when you're looking at properties that have a tenant already in place. Hi, my name's Catherine, and I'm a real estate agent in sunny Southern California. Welcome into my channel, and let's get to the topic of today. So there's some things that you're gonna wanna know when you're looking at properties that already have a tenant in place with an existing lease. This may sound like an excellent opportunity for an investment and to start earning money right away. However, we need to look at the potential risks and the benefits of when you're purchasing these properties and inheriting a tenant. The most important thing that you're going to need to know is that the leases are still legal. Leases convey with the property. So you're not legally able to raise the rent, modify any clauses, or evict the tenant just because you buy the house and the property. There are a couple of exceptions to that. One of them is if the current seller has in their lease that they are have the right to terminate upon the transfer of the property, then that is one thing. And the other thing is going to be if you are purchasing a property that's in foreclosure, you need to look at your state's laws regarding a notice to vacate if a property is in foreclosure. Now there is a common misconception that goes around that if you're buying a property to live in it as your main residence, then the tenants have to go. But that is not true. Remember, the lease terms convey with the property. The best advice that I give my clients is when submitting an offer, they want to submit an offer contingent upon the property being vacant upon closing. This will put the burden of evicting the tenants legally upon the seller and not you. Another option is you can go forward and buy the property and then the responsibility of either breaking the lease legally, renegotiating terms, or you could buy the tenants out. Now there's an inherent risk to that because the tenants do not have to accept your offer. Remember, the legal lease that they sign transfers with the property. Now if your tenants are not currently in a lease and they're on month to month, there are a couple of options you have. You could ask them to sign a new termed lease. You could raise the rent and discuss it with them. Or you could actually um, give them a notice to vacate. With the last two options, you will have to look at your state laws to see what kind of notice. I know in California for a notice to vacate, you need 60 days, which is two months. So you would have to look at your local laws for that. Ideally, if you're buying an investment property with tenants already in place, it could be a really great thing because you've got immediate cash flow. You have um, possibly, if the tenants have been there a long term, that means that you have tenants that are going to be staying for a long term and you won't need to be doing any searches for new tenants anytime soon. Just buyer beware because you never know how the previous owner has selected if they used a thorough process to vet the tenant. And you may have gotten a property that the previous owner just got anyone in there so that he could show the property for sale with a tenant in place. And then even if the tenant's been there long term, you don't know what kind of problem the landlord may have gotten to collect rents on time, um, have they done a lot of damage to the property. Just be careful and do your due diligence as best you can when buying a property that already has a tenant in place. Also, one last note, make sure that you check with your mortgage person because buying properties that are investment properties 
you will need to put a little bit more money down and you will also have a little bit higher interest rate. So make sure that you can qualify for the property that you're looking to put an offer in. Good luck, it's very exciting when you have properties that are income producing and once you get more familiar with how to do it, you will get more comfortable, you will know what to look for. But good luck to you and if you have any questions, drop a comment below and as always, I can help you with anything that you need, just drop me a line. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video.